Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd Of course we know Shara Ramadan is the Shara Taqwa As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Kutiba alaykum siyam kama kutiba alladheena min qablikum La'alakum tattakoon That fasting has been prescribed for you Similar to the way it was prescribed for those who came before you In order that you would gain taqwa And part of achieving that taqwa lies the wajal because Shara Ramadan is also the Shah of the Quran. It's also the month of the Quran that the Quran was revealed. And the Prophet ﷺ urged us to learn the Quran and teach the Quran. So strive to get as much Quran as you can. On Abi Uthman ibn Affan, on Uthman ibn Affan, رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم خيركم من تعلم القرآن وعلمه رواه بخاري. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said has transmitted or has related by Uthman ibn Affan radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. He said that the best of you, salawatu rabbi wa salamu alayhi, is those who learn the Quran and teach it. So that lets us know that the best of the ummah are those who learn the Quran and they teach the Quran. So either if you're at the level of you're seeking knowledge and learning the kitab illah, this is going to make you fit under that hadith if you're practicing it, if you are contemplating it, if you're uh, reflecting on its meanings, and if you are practicing the Qur'an. And so that's why the believer strives to learn the Qur'an and practice the Qur'an, and I encourage myself and those listening to read Kitab Allah wa Sunnah of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.